Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to this week's patch note video where we're going to go through everything that's going on this week, which we do, of course, every single Monday, uh, so long as there is an update to actually cover. So, uh, today's is April patch week. So there's probably just going to be lots of fixes uh, and other sort of, stuff, sort of stuff like that. Nothing really huge to talk about. But uh, for those of you that may be even waiting for some fixes and stuff, we'll still cover it anyway. So let's take a look. And uh, it says, relish those Requiem fixes and enjoy those Ungale uh, upgrades as we roll out patches for this week. So it sounds like there's going to be a lot of fixes from the new quest and uh, the new ritual site probably. So let's have a look. Requiem for a dragon. Inspecting Zorgos ring while wearing it will no longer unequip him. This, I, I believe, a few people were actually, um, when they're trying to upgrade the ring for the rituals, they would inspect it while while it was equipped and then not notice that it unequipped. Then they were doing rituals for ages and thinking, why have I not like had the upgrade yet? You have to have it equipped to have the upgrade. And so, yeah, so this has been fixed, luckily. The material storage container at the Memorial of Guthix should no longer be affected by configuring the material storage container of the Archaeology Guild. Okay. During the Battle of 4 for in 3 epilogue, Bill Billerick now uses his new visual effects uh, created during development of Requiem for a Dragon, corrected some text scene while speaking to death. There's, there's, I mean, this is mostly just the quest stuff, right? So the, the translator during the Requiem for a Dragon quest now wields whatever the, the destroy... Uh, confirmed message for the ring no longer mentions may storage chest twice completing a manifest ectoplasm ritual is now required for the rituals uh, we trust achievement clarify the description of the in the rituals we trust achievement since it does not require quest specific rituals the pumpkin mask and install pumpkin mask now applying their durability benefit to both um and also the, the the i forgot i completely forgot about these pumpkin masks to be fair because uh, they give a, a ritual uh, benefit right but I completely forgot about them. I guess it wasn't working at the new site, but it is now. Teleport issue with the Tome of Um 1 have been fixed. Small edits to the Requiem of a Dragon quest journal. Communion rituals can no longer be up, uh, completed at Ungale. This is to avoid the loss of materials while unable to gain souls at Ungale. Okay. Uh, and tooltips in the skill guide will now be correctly shown on mobile devices. I just thought, actually, this is a good point. The fact that you you could actually still do communion rituals was a bit funny because you can't get souls there and all they do is give souls. So <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of funny. Speaking to Volcal's ghosts after Requiem for a Dragon, uh, no longer gives you another Zorgoth ring. Damn, gutted. General stuff. All right. Update the look of Pernix and Shadow Gem. Um, Pernix outfits to be a better align with player feedback. This is the stuff that they talked about uh, in here real quick. So I'll quickly rem uh, remind you guys the differences. This is the original one. And then this is the new one with like the reduced armor and, and like less size stuff. And the very slight changes and stuff. It, it looks better for sure. So that's now in the game. The menu for adding uh, logs to a bonfire will no longer appear if unstable protein logs are the only type of logs in the player's inventory, making it work the same way as regular protein logs. Okay. The skilling backpack now correctly updates its examined description to match its current functionality and level whenever it's re uh, reclaimed from Django. Okay. Salmon no longer appears in the free play worlds. Leftover Christmas decoration has been removed. Have they, um, have they fixed next yet with the, the Christmas... Um, ice prison. It was like Christmas trees instead of the regular icicles. I, I think that I, it might still be there. The On the Wings of Air song required for music. Uh, Mestro is now not for players who have completed Jack of Spades. The Aquarium Treasure Chest now correctly states which clue scroll was obtained. Uh, cadaver berries are no longer listed under the junk category in the bank. Fixed a bug. Uh, ha. With Carfight King, because it's because it's, it, it's a bug, guys. That's funny. Whereby it, <laughs> its base hit chance uh, affinities were prioritizing the wrong styles. For example, in ranged form, it was weaker to ranged attacks. Oh, uh, oh, how long has that been happening? I hope that's just recent because <laughs> that's a lot of people done done Carfight King throughout the years. I assume it's just a recent thing. Uh, using spells on the ground while legacy mode is active no longer results in an incorrect message. Uh, filling buckets of slime from the pool of slime is now slightly faster. That's kind of cool. We got a buff to the ectoplasm thing, which is always awesome to see. The genocidal perk bonus will now show the exact damage increase in the buff icon. If the player has blocked XP in a skill um, and lends that skill to the player, XP earned for the assister, uh, but the assistance is now blocked. 
XP is earned by the sister. Okay, so you must have still been getting XP if you if you'd blocked it, and yeah, but it's fine. Uh, Suske's health bar should now disappear when whenever the boss fight during the Suske game is over. The I meant to do that achievement now requires five agility. The half an agility course lap timer now counts when the player is busy, and the stick the knife in achievement can once again be unlocked by passing through with bar. Okay, so there's there's, there's nothing um, epic or amazing or overly exciting in here. The Pernix one, maybe you guys will like that. It looks pretty cool, right? Um, but otherwise, just there's, there's a lot of fixes. There's, there's a lot of patches for sure. Like there's there's a lot of um, little bug fixes. Um, but it, it's yeah, it's just bugs and stuff. Treasure on calendar. Let's have a look. Genie's wishes. We know about that. It looks like there's a new thing. Oh wait, an assassin's return even. Assassins are in high demand once again, and that means a series of contracts we should deal with. Um, the faceless assassin outfits. There's a new shadow version. Okay, uh, and the new shadow step aura. Shadow step aura. This. I mean. I like the trail. <laughs> Maybe it is just the trail because it just says Shadow Step Aura. And I think this is a run animation. I've always thought this run animation was absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> I don't know, man. It just looks ridiculous. Like, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, so the Assassin's Return will also introduce cr um, creature specific Slayer wildcards. Uh, creature specific versions of Slayer wildcards that provide 7% Slayer XP. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Creature specific ver <coughs> versions of Slayer wild cards that provide 75% Slayer XP and on task drop rates while off task. I assume these will be tradable as well. This is kind of like the protein things. They're just adding more things to Treasure Hunter to make it more spendable, I suppose. But there you go. Anyway, let's have a look. Community showcase stuff. Combat beta. This is badass. This looks so good. Is this drawn? Is this a screenshot? Uh, let's have a look. This is this is insane. This is it's not a screenshot. It's actually this is this is nuts. The amount of detail and and work and the I don't know. That's crazy good. So good. The artwork is always so good. Rune tube. Uh, what is wrong with this cat? I don't know. Okay. Old school RuneScape player returns from get 3 Yeah, check that out for sure. And then there's the RS guys at uh, Zorgoth's Soul Ring review as well. If you haven't seen that, escape of screenshots are down here. And that's it. There you go. Well, like I say, there wasn't much, to be fair. It's <laughs> actually quite. I mean, there's a lot of patches, right? It is what it is. I guess um, we got a quest and stuff last week. So there we go. Hopefully, we see something exciting next week. We, I, I don't know if we've got anything else to expect right now. Uh, the Rex boss is coming. It's some, sometime next month, I think, but I, I, I doubt it's going to be the first update. But we'll see what happens. I could be wrong. Anyway, I hope you all uh, found this useful. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later, guys. Bye.